Good afternoon, people. Welcome to another episode of What's Up Wednesdays. You know, we get so many packages uh, these days with Amazon and all that. Uh, it's hard to get excited uh, when a package shows up at your door, but today is different. Today is the unboxing day for the uh, electrical components that I purchased for my van build. Uh, I'm excited about this. Um, this is a lot better than a pair of pants. So let's get into her and uh, start unboxing. Um, so what, uh, uh, just a little bit, bit of background. I purchased the system through uh, Battleborn Batteries uh, in Reno, Nevada. They're a US company, obviously, and uh, uh, made right there in, uh, in Nevada. And uh, they make the, the batteries, uh, but they also bundle systems uh, with components that are made by other companies that they test and make sure are compatible with their own battery systems. And you can purchase the system and have them program it, uh, which is really helpful because um, I don't know how the guts of these things work. So um, that's why I purchased it through Battleborn. Uh, the other thing is the batteries, the lithium ion batteries that uh, Battleborn manufactures and sells are a 10 year warranty, which is, I believe, the longest uh, warranty on the market. So uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, and uh, anyway, let's get into her here. So, unboxing. Uh, I'm assuming this here is going to be one of the two batteries. I purchased two 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, they're not super heavy. The box is are surprisingly light. So yeah, there it is. Battle one. Probably 30 pounds um, for 100 amp hours. That is a lot of juice here. So it's a Life Po 4 battery, which is another term for lithium iron. Uh, anyway, I got two of these. Uh, it's got an internal uh, battery manager. Um, so it has a High or low temp, um, it will shut the battery down and protect your system and uh, keep it safe. Um, so yeah, super cool. Got two of these. So let's put this aside here. And what do we have next here? Oh, this is another battery. I'm not going to open that one. Let's go with this one here. This here, I'm guessing, is probably the uh, inverter charger. It is. We got going here. No, oh, that's a little heavier than I thought. What this does is uh, it's a combination inverter and charger. So an inverter will invert 12 volt DC uh, from the batteries to 110 uh, AC, uh, which is your house current. And that's important if you want to run something like a, um, a blender or charging laptops. Um, wow, this thing is really heavy. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, it's made by Victron Energy. Um, it's probably more than I need, um, uh, but uh, I didn't want to skimp. And in case I want to expand my system or need to expand my system in the future, um, this has that capability. But as I said, it's an inverter which um, cranks out 110 power um, to an outlet uh, in the van. The other thing it does is it. Uh, if you hook up to shore power, it becomes a charger and will charge your batteries. It's a smart charger. Um, so you just hook it up to the uh, uh, 110 in your house or an RV campground. Um, you just hook uh, a cable up to that and that can be used to charge your batteries using this uh, charger inverter. So super cool. This thing's kind of bigger than I thought it would be. It's going to be a challenge to fit it in. So. Got one more box here. And it's fun. So I'm guessing this here is going to be the Victron uh, solar charger. Um, 
Again, it is probably bigger than I'm going to need in terms of its capacity. Um, it will take way more solar panels than I plan on, on purchasing. Um, yeah, that's what it is. So this here in this box is the uh, solar charger. And uh, there's a picture of it right there, made by Victron, under the five-year warranty. Um, but this will uh, charge the batteries uh, with a, a, a solar panel. And my plan is to purchase a uh, portable uh, solar panel that I can set up uh, to uh, charge the system, place it in full sunlight so it maximizes its efficiency. And obviously I'll put it out when I'm in a campground or something like that and use that to top off the battery um, after I've charged it with my alternator, done the bulk of the charging with the alternator on the vehicle. Um, this will trickle charge and uh, with the uh, solar panel and make sure that it's topped out and uh, that we're getting maximum efficiency out of the system. So I don't plan on doing rooftop solar uh, if I get away with it. Um, so I'll just have like one one portable panel that'll hook up to this. Um, and then this here is a battery monitor um, that just tells you the state of charge, the depth of discharge, um, so you can keep track of what's going on with your system. Uh, that's kind of important because uh, you don't want to run out of power and uh, there are protections built in uh, to the system to prevent it from discharging your starter battery uh, so that you can't start the vehicle. Um, it will shut it down before it does that. Um, you need to make sure the vehicle starts. That's the number one priority. And then here is a, a multi-controller that does programming of the system, uh, pretty limited programming. Uh, at a remote location so I can have it up at eye level. I don't have to dig around into the battery box to uh, uh, fiddle with the system. I can program it using this remote control uh, right here that'll be mounted into a panel. So anyway, got lots of fun stuff uh, to play with now. I am going to take all of these components and begin to mock up a system and just see how it works. Um, I have wire coming, lots of connections. Um, uh, so I'm just going to mock it up and uh, start playing with it. So last thing I'll tell you about here. Don't want to go too long here, but uh, what's going on with the van? I actually, uh, uh, this is drying right now. I'm not going on a trip. This, this is all weight that I put on top of the plywood uh, subfloor. And what I did is I uh, cut up a bunch of 3 8 inch uh, uh, plywood and made a bunch of battens uh, that are glued to the floor of the van and uh, that's what I'm going to screw the subfloor into. Um, so there's just strips of, of plywood in between the little humps on the van floor. Um, so it's not very exciting but it needs to be done uh, and I'm glad I finished. <laughs> okay people, good to see you. Talk to you later. Bye.